0202 is working in the space of uh, facewear. What we're going to do is we're going to redefine the market for uh, respirators and for face masks for those at risk of air pollution. Face masks and respirators uh, have fundamental problems. Since the 1960s, the, the technology hasn't really changed. And what we're looking to do is completely rethink the way that uh, people are protected. So we're, we call it protective facewear. That's what it is. You had footwear, you have eyewear, now you're going to have facewear with what we're producing. It was an engineering challenge first and foremost. We have to give people levels of protection, but thereafter, what we're talking about is the most valuable part of, of someone's body. It's the face, the most valuable part of real estate. So we can't get around the point of design. You know, we have to have a design thinking ethos hard-coded into uh, everything that we do, think and say. Uh, so this is one of the shields that have come off the printer, the 3D printer. Uh, as I say, we've been on a 12-hour design cycle between Auckland, London and Taiwan, constantly uh, progressing and moving this design forward. We're prototyping in, in real time. Uh, this is all about getting it out and testing it as quickly as possible. How this fits on the face, how this sort of works on different facial types, how the weights work. And we can be doing this, as I say, every 12 hours, a new prototype was coming off the line. The place where the need is most chronic and desperate is over in China. You've got 640 million people which were earlier this year enveloped in what was called airpocalypse when dangerous levels of smog uh, covered cities. They're already wearing and, uh, a billion face masks every year. That market is growing at 20% per annum and it's going to be a $1.5 billion market within the next five years. So that is going to be the market that we're going to go for. Success is going to be about saving lives. It's going to be enabling people who are at risk of air pollution to have better options than the face wear and the respirators that they're currently working with.